We're doing this shit. Playing Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. Get ready. Um, that is the B button. I have been pressing the B button the whole time. Okay. I didn't mean to start there, but I, I did, I guess. Um, I... Oh, yeah, fuck. This game is amazing. This is a legendary game that I've always loved. Uh, I would go over to my friend Brent's house every weekend just to play it because he had it because uh, I didn't and he had a much uh, Much wealthier family than I did. He uh, what was it? His mom was a nurse Did I just swallow a spike and it didn't do anything? Oh <laughs> Sorry, yeah, um I eventually did get the game so this emulation is very legal. I have purchased a copy uh, I don't have a, cap a capture card, so I'm using an emulator. And this ROM uh, doesn't show my life bar or my abilities until the screen changes. And then when the screen changes, it sticks to that, like whatever first frame it was, that's what it sticks with for the whole time. Um, this is one of the best games in the world. I can't reiterate that enough. The mechanic of double abilities, like, why it wasn't brought back is beyond me. Uh, what a genius, genius marketing uh, tool to use. Um, not marketing, I'm sorry, what am I talking about? I'm sure they marketed it very well. Um, what I'm saying is, this game, right, this mechanic, this flawless, amazing, creative mechanic that any person can understand, Look at those images down there. Look at those little blocks. Like, <laughs> two boomerangs equals big boomerang. It, do it's, it doesn't take... It's a, such a simple thing. And do we ever see it again? No. We never see it again. What we see is fucking mass attack and all of these other weird-ass gimmicks. Um, but I guess in retrospect, this is essentially a gimmick. And I'm sure there were a lot of skeptics when this game came out. Like, oh, you can do double abilities? Oh, when are, when are they going to do triple abilities? When are they going to uh, do something stupid like that? <laughs> uh, kind of like kind of like Mega Evolutions. Like, all the kids right now are loving Mega Evolutions for Pokemon. But, like, I hate it. I hate the concept. I think it's stupid. Uh, I think it's ruined the integrity of Pokemon. And it's kind of copped from Digimon. Uh... So essentially, what I'm trying to say is, uh, there's going to be skepticism with every generation. I think. Uh, I think it's. I think it's the bias of the nostalgia, um, because everything's. Everything's. I think everything's better when you're a kid. So I remember playing Kirby Superstar. I think it's the best video game ever. But if I had a game like this when I was a kid, which I did. I mean, okay, if I had a game like, uh, like the uh, uh, Canvas Curse. And I was a kid. I'd be like, wow, okay, this game is amazing. And then I'd like try to go back and play Superstar, and I might think that that's a, a worse game. Um, so I think a lot of bias comes from those arguments, because they all, they all kind of sound the same to me. Uh, and when an arguments all sound the same, then that's when I start getting really skeptical. Uh, regardless, genius mechanic that they never brought back. That's really the thesis of my statement here. Uh... I'm done with this boomerang. Get me out of here. Get me these bombs. Bada boom. I don't like that he just drops them. I'm pretty sure rock bomb is really good. But we're gonna try bomb flame. Bomb flame! Oh, great. Now we gotta go with flame rock. Pretty sure this is one that I don't like. Ah, uh, yep, I don't like this one very much. At all. See, and that's the thing, there's, a, there's an experimental and creative bit to this mechanic, instead of just what combination of what will make me the strongest and get me past this obstacle. Instead, you know, you have a lot more control, and that's cool as crap. This game is just hella. Not when it's doing shit like this, though. Wow. Okay. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get rid of that. That's done. That's done, though. So anyway, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Smash. I've been playing a lot of Smash 4. I got that for Christmas. Uh, well, I got 60 bucks at Best Buy for Christmas, which I then used immediately for Smash 4. Um, I've been playing the crap out of that. Uh, I might start doing tournaments. That would be rad. I don't know if... I, don't, I mean, I'm definitely not that good... 
yet, but, uh, you know, we all start at the bottom, might as well try. It's my, my logic. Uh, I think this is the fridge. No. It's a giant snowball. The fridge is electricity and snow. That makes sense. Bottle of these is so cute. Bottle of these is one of my favorites. Okay, don't do that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's my up B? <laughs> Bottle of you, you're going way too freaking fast. This is awful. Well, anyway, um, Kirby Games as a whole have just been such a good series, I think. Um, not only are they accessible, but like, they're just genuinely entertaining for anybody. Uh, lovable and identifiable characters, uh, really interesting and cool gameplay mechanics. I can't, I can't praise this game enough. I really can't. Um, I've always loved, I think Waddle Doo was always one of my favorites too. Uh, <laughs> when I first got a Facebook, I think my profile picture for the longest time was the was specifically the Kirby Air Ride art for Waddle Doo. For like the longest time, I didn't want to change it. I was Waddle Doo. That's who I was. Um. So do I, do I keep that crystal shard, even though I just died? Maybe. I wish I could suck up Waddle Dee. He's so cute. I wish I could just be as cute as him. I can get on this thing? I can get on him? That's rad. I never even, like, thought to try that. I don't know why. Oh, man. They could have picked a better background for this place. Hmm, we're in a forest. What are we going to do here? How about just black? How about just utter blackness? Uh, Sakurai. Listen. You've been listening to Linkin Park in your room for days now. We're all starting to worry about you uh, over here at NOA, and you're wondering if uh, the most recent development on this Kirby game has anything to do with how you've been. This joke has gone way too far. <laughs> Sakurai does not have depression, um, although I'm sure he does after the flack he gets for not making Melee competitive. For not encouraging Melee to be competitive. Excuse me. Anyway, yeah. I've been really into, like, I've been watching a bunch of Melee tournaments and, uh, just, uh, like, gameplay from advanced Melee players, and that shit is raw. Like, that shit just goes crazy. I can't believe how raw that shit is. Uh, there's just so much behind it. There's so many mechanics. I freaking love it. It's so good. Let's get this guy here. Let's swallow him up. I love this one. I love all of them. She's so talented. This one's the best one. Am I going to be uh, using these? Are you going to be doing anything cool? Or are you going to be just keep on doing stupid stuff? That dude looks like he belongs in Dreamland 3. Okay, th I, what do you want me to do? I figured it out. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's another thing, is that uh, throughout all of the Kirby games, they have kept the one mechanic of you don't have to copy abilities. That is a, like, luxury that you don't even have to do. You can just suck stuff up and throw it back at them. Kirby's Dreamland, first Kirby game. That was the only mechanic. There weren't abilities, uh, which I think is awesome. It, it, um, think it makes you think a little more strategically, uh, as opposed to just, like, getting the beam and spamming... The, the charge. Can't sing this game's fucking praises enough. Yeah, dude, I would play... Oh, God. I would, come, I would go over to his house and play Kirby, and then we would immediately play uh, Paper Mario, and he got stuck on the eighth boss? Whichever boss was the cloud guy, Huff Puff, or whatever. Uh... And I had to help him beat it. It was he was so frustrated. I have never seen him that frustrated in my life. I remember it. I remember it to this day. He was so pissed off. He was like, I can't freaking beat it. It's impossible, Ben. I'm gonna let you try, but I don't think you're gonna be able to do anything. <laughs> we pop the game in and I just like 
wreck as shit. Like, it was just easy as shit. <laughs> but I had been playing so much. Like, I remember uh, Paper Mario was a really big deal to us because... What am I supposed to be doing here? Am I supposed to just... Oh, thanks. Yeah, you could have let me know that. Um, 